We're working. <laughs> Carol doesn't know we're working. The sound's working. She's pretending it's not working. Is it working? Yeah. yeah. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Give over. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> right then. Okay, so we've got sound. So welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. We have Simon in the kitchen. And Karen. Hi. <laughs> So um, we're trying out our new equipment and it's all new to Simon. In fairness, me and Karen are just staying right out of it and we're leaving him to it. But he's built loads of gadgets. We've got this big thing going on, this big tea bar going on over here. And we've got our lights moved and oh, I don't know. And I've got a lovely screen that I can watch. I can see myself. How cool is that? So then uh, I can tell Simon which camera we're on. So um, this morning we did, what did we do this morning, Karen? What was we doing? Did we do it live? Oh, we did a class. So we were getting prepared. We were getting prepared for our buttercream flowers class. So we did that. Then we did the Cake Flicks live. So I am doing a live on Cake Flicks on Saturday at 11 a.m. And it does all go horribly wrong. <laughs> so, um, but you know, <laughs> only a little bit, yeah. So I won't tell you all, but let's just say that the salty caramel in the end is absolutely fine and it tastes gorgeous, um, but it did go wrong. So I'll let you watch it on Saturday because you never saw the right version afterwards. But uh, I'll let you watch it on Saturday. We're making um, a banana and caramel, uh, salty caramel cake. So I'm going to show, I showed you how to make the sponge and I'm sure you're going to love it anyhow. So Karen and, and I have been playing with making macaroons and macarons. So let me just get this out of things. Is that cool? Yeah. So we have been making macarons and macaroons with our whipping it up. They're not perfect yet. They do have feet on them, but they're not perfect. So we're still playing. We're nearly there. And um, hopefully I'm going to be showing you how to do these very, very soon. I'm actually going to have another bash at these again tonight. Macro macaro macarons are not my favourite thing to do anyhow. Um, they make me very, very nervous. But you know what? We're going to have a go because I've actually enjoyed playing with these. And we were making these this morning. And then Karen and I have been making macaroons. And I don't think Ka uh, Simon should be able to eat any more macaron macaroons because he's at loads of them. How many of these have you had? Two. Pip. Doesn't. <laughs> Doesn't. So Karen is going to make these. Today. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, over the last week. Oh. So Karen is going to make these for you tomorrow and dip them in chocolate as well. So that's going to be great. And if these are perfect tomorrow, we're going to make these tomorrow as well. So let's get those out of the way. Get that out of the way. Let's put those out of the way over there. So on Cake Flicks, I showed you how to bake the cake, and here they are. So we'd already had a cake already made, and then I actually showed you how to bake a cake. And these are the cakes from the pre-recorded live. So we did we did a live. We did a live. You'll see it on Saturday. And um, these are the sponge cakes. So first of all, I'm going to put these together. Okay, and these are made with our flavoured banana split icing sugar. Okay, so if you want to know how we made the sponge, you'll need to watch that on Saturday. But today I'm just going to make the buttercream for you. So you get it in two parts, don't you? So we're just going to pop our cake on, dead easy. They lift out. Lovely colour, okay. You can, if you want to, Take all the little crummy bits off if you want to. I never bother. I'll do it for you lot, but I don't normally bother. Oh, the did you? I never bother. So this is a lovely sponge, okay? And it's just made with our flavoured icing sugar. So if you want to make these sponges, then um, you'll need to watch it on Saturday on Cake Flicks. Having said that, if you're in the Cake Illusionist class, then you can't, can you? So you'll have to watch it later on. Right, let's get the buttercream and uh, let's get my palette. What time are you on on Saturday? 11am, that's my new slot time. 
So I'm sorry I told you all um, 8 p.m. last time, but uh, I obviously wasn't paying attention to David and Paul's emails. So <laughs> the problem what I do is, and it's terrible, I skim read everything. So. You've got that many emails, you're that busy. Well, the last conversation I had with David and Paul was is that I was always going to do eight o'clock, so I didn't read anything else after that. So <laughs> I didn't. That was it. So. The fact that they changed the plan didn't even but it didn't even occur to me to read the email again. So there you go. Anyhow. Have I got in trouble, Karen? Right. No, you're all right. You're no. fine. And actually, they're saying that the sound of the picture quality is great. Oh, so you like the new sound and kitchen picture quality, dear. Well, that's what it's all about. And you know what? We have this young man here to thank. He's worked very hard. So okay, so we're using salted caramel buttercream. That's gone on the cake. So we have another cake here as well. I'm going to go for the big one. So we made three of these today. Let's just put that on there. So this is an eight inch cake, okay? So some of you have been asking for tins. So I get my tins off um, PME, but um, PME are out of stock, but they assure me that they are coming in soon. They were expecting them on the... Um, 24th of June and I think now it's been delayed to the 7th of July. I think so um, Also cake boxes I've got a massive order of cake boxes coming in and they're due on the 7th of July So I've got everything coming in sixes eights nines um, and uh, Can't remember if I've got six cupcake boxes coming in, but I've got the normal cake boxes coming in uh, It's like a mass, short, mass short, shortage isn't it? So uh, I might have to level my sponge as well. So I'll get Karen on comments in a minute to interact with us. She's taken uh, the macrons out of the, um, we've got quite a lot of ma ma macrons. Yeah, She's running out of room. So if you hear that, I think did the time would just go on off then. Yeah, I've just got them all just ready to come out now. So I'm just padding this up here with buttercream. So this is the Carol McFarland way. Brush it under the carpet. Part, yeah, absolutely. Brush it under the carpet. Oh, we're going to have that one. So um, we made the sponges for cake flicks as well. We made four, but because um, it was fake for cake flicks, I, didn't put, I don't mean this in a bad way. I didn't put four together, put three together, because I thought it was uh, going to be too big. So we've got four for you lot tonight because I only have 45 minutes to do a live and I end up getting in a panic. Hence why my uh, caramel didn't go to plan. But I will come and show you how to do the caramel another day. You do like the luxury of two hours, don't you? Yeah, of course I like the luxury of two hours. <laughs> you lot like the luxury of two hours, don't you? Hey? The thing with me, Simon, is I don't hide it. And even though it's for cake flicks and we've pre-recorded it, do you know what? I could have dabbled with it and said, you know what, let's do it again. But it is what it is, that's how it is. So there's no point dabbling with it, is there? Let's just show you as it is. And it's not the way I work, anyhow. Do you, you know what I mean? If you're in your kitchen and you're struggling, you want to know how to solve the problem. And you also want to know, you know what? Carol's got it wrong. So there we go. So I'm not too bothered about this leaning too much because as per usual, I'll be using my nifty nozzles, which is going to hide everything. So there we go. See, look, see that? Look at that. It's just put a big blob under there. Right, Karen's back on comments. Right, and then when we were on Cake Flicks, we showed everybody how to, so they didn't get um, lines on their cake, we showed everybody to put use this cloth. What's this cloth called, Karen? It's called the, um, the, the cooling the, the cooling tray. You can look it up off my... Yeah. They're loving the, they're loving the china at the back. Oh, you're loving the china at the back, are you? Great. So how many of you um, came and joined me and watched my um, pre-loved live last night, my uh, auction? So I know quite a lot of you have emailed me with offers already, but I don't look at them until next week. So I'll find some time next week, have a look at them. Gives everyone time. If you um, want to go and have a look, I have a group called Carol's Pre-Loved. And then I did a live a couple of weeks ago with Simon and Karen. Smash some china. <laughs> It's all part. Hey, I smashed some china. Simon nearly took the rest of the stuff out while he tried to while he tried to save it. God bless him. 
Anyhow, it was all fun and I don't get upset about it. It is what it is. It's a Baco Glide cooling rack liner. Right, there you go. Cooling rack liner. Yeah. So there you go. We're going to go for the big cake. We're not having jam on it either. Yeah, so if you want to join that group, go along, join. It's um, it's not like a group where you're all chatting and stuff. It is for me to show you what I'm selling in there. And, um, and you know, some of it I have on eBay and some of it I have in other places, collectors clubs and stuff like that. But if anybody wants to make me a bid on anything, feel free. So that was on there. There you go. So... There you go, see, not a mark on there, not a line. Because a lot, a lot of you don't like those lines on there. And to be fair, they don't really offend me at all because you're gonna cover it with buttercream anyhow. But if you're not for your Victoria sponges, you don't want lines on. So there we go, so that's that. Right, and I'm just going to get a jug of hot water. There it is. What we're doing, we've got a lovely audience tonight, Carol. Have right. we? We're already at just under 400. Right, have you heard about me on Cake Flicks already then? You can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> We've sent it over to Paul, as he told you all. Come and watch it. <laughs> hey, oh, she really cocks it up this time. Right, let me get a piping bag. Watch your wing it. Yeah, watch your wing it. Where's the piping bag for me once? It's going to be a very big cake. I tell you, what, our fridge is full of cake. Our fridge is full of cakes. We've got to get rid of them all tomorrow, though. Just about that, I'm trip down to the old folks. Yeah. Let's, let's do so we're going to do. We're going. Well, I think the old folks are We're getting too many. I think what we'll do is we'll um. We'll go to the old folks home with Georgie's teapot. Yeah. We'll definitely take that and we'll take one of these cakes, but we've got a chocolate cake and we've got the other one. In fact, I'll get the one I've had for cake flicks. I'll show it you. Oh, you well, maybe I won't show you then. <laughs> Right, okay, let's get the buttercream in here. You're right, Lynn, there's no mistakes in baking, only happy mistakes. Yeah, exactly. I don't understand why people get so stressed about it, really. And you know what, half your customers would never know. Do you know what, if, you, you know what, if you're high-end professional, fair enough. You know, if you're, char if you're charging the money, which you should be doing anyhow, um, fair enough. But you know what, if, you, if you're making this for family and friends, there's no point getting stressed about it. You're supposed to enjoy baking. It's not meant to be stressful. It's meant to actually take your mind off things. So, um, anyhow, Simon's been engrossed for the last few days since he's had his new bits and bobs. And, uh, very busy, Carol. Very is that busy. what it is, Simon? Yes. Yeah. So he wants to know, how much buttercream have you made? Um, I've made two lots of buttercream. Possibly three, just hang on a second. We've got two lots here, 500 grams for the cake, 500 grams already for using for the nozzles, and I'm gonna make another 500 grams live. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna go around here. And if you want to have a look at uh, the china and the crystal later, it's called Carol's Pre-Love. Yeah, the group's called Carol's Pre-Love. And uh, you do, all you got to do is request to join. I'll let you in after the live today. And then you just watch the videos. We did one two weeks ago. Quite a lot of it's been sold. But um, all you got to do is, there's no embarrassment, you see, because what happens is you send me a bid by email. And, um, and then um, I'll tell you whether you won or not. Very easy. But I take about a week to respond. Simply to give everybody a chance, that's all. I'm trying to be professional today, putting it on this way. Bet you're all wondering what I'm doing, because now I just chuck it on. <laughs> thinking oh you know what let's put it on properly <laughs> I'm not sure it's going to look properly afterwards but <laughs> who cares yes Lynn it is buttercream it's yeah. um, is, it the black, is it black cherry or salted caramel salted I caramel we pardon I can't remember what we did it's um, salted caramel salted caramel mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So for cake flicks, we did um, banana split cake. Uh, banana split cake, so it's banana split sponge, sponge and then salty caramel buttercream. That's what we're using. So, so I'm not going to do the bottom there because it'll all spread down in a minute. We'll have far too much buttercream on here. But I just quite like spinning it around. Helen says you look very professional. I know, can't believe it. Can you believe it, Helen? <laughs> can't believe it, crikey. How many years have I been doing this? <laughs> Right, okay. So, um, what I like to use one of these, I know lots of people like to use um, a smoother, but I actually prefer to use one of these. Now, you're not going to see me now because I've asked Simon to put the camera over there, so I'll try and do it in front of this camera here. Um, but uh, so, what I like to do is I just like to spread it round like that. You gotta remember I'm not a professional I'm just I just come on these lives and do it I never make cakes otherwise I don't make cakes to sell so when I set up sugar and crumbs I had all the questions everybody else had how do you do this how do you do that and you know you search Google and you join little online classes and things like that. But sometimes it's just nice to watch people. And this is why we did these lives. We started these lives. We were the first, really. I think when I started asking people if they'll come and do lives with me, they all sort of looked at me as though I'd gone completely bonkers. Because we're into our fourth year of doing Facebook lives. So, and now everybody does them. It's great, exactly. isn't it? Eh? Exactly. Yeah. So, I remember... Uh, I remember asking people and I said will you come and do a live for me and they're like what's a live and um and you know I've got to give uh, Barina and Karen Davies and Marion Frost their due they said yeah when you're ready they didn't know what I was talking about they'll tell you that they didn't know what I was talking about but they went uh yeah when you know yeah but they could tell us a little bit more about it so that looks all right doesn't it quite pleased with that actually well you've got both Baker Paul yeah doing a great job Carol <laughs> Don't be surprised, Paul. <laughs> Anyhow, talking about Paul, um, on the li on the lives last week, I asked Paul if he would test some flour for me, and um, he has. So we've taken on a, a new, we've taken we've started selling Nelstrop's flour, and it's brilliant stuff. Everybody really likes it, and it's milled up here in Stockport, where I actually live. Karen lives as well, and Simon, as it happens, we all live here, and uh, we've taken on their flour, but they've also got some speciality flour that's won awards so I said to Paul if I send you some will you try it and uh, God bless him he has he sent me a lovely video last night which Paul I have now forwarded on to John and John will be doing a post about it so Paul does a really nice loaf of bread and to be fair if you can't follow what he tells you to do then you can't make bread I'm convinced myself I can make it look so easy so well done and he says it's beautiful so uh so I don't do straight edges, okay? I use my nifty nozzles to hide everything. So don't expect any straight edges off me. So you girls who don't like doing straight edges, you're going to be big fans of mine. Sorry, Nicola just said that's Simon's job. What's that? Are you, are you sure you don't need a professional cake taster? We've got <laughs> one sat there. You know what? This man never ate a thing. <laughs> He never had a thing. He was whinging all the time that he's on a gluten-free diet. Well, you're going to have to, like, it's going to be back to that. Oh, is it? Next week. Right. I don't believe it because you won't be able to help yourself. Anyhow, he's come off his gluten-free diet because he's doing a test or something at the moment. Don't know what he's doing. And then um, he scoffed everything in sight. So it's not that straight, okay, because I'm not looking for it to be that straight at the moment. So let me clean my board. And then let me get some balls to mix some colours in. Okay, so.
<laughs> Sorry, guys. We're getting some pots. We've been so busy today. Haven't we? We've got everything, haven't we, Carol? Yeah, we have. We've used every, every tool <laughs> we can today. So I am going to make some more buttercream. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. In fact, I'll get the butter on now. Paul says he was nervous as hell, but he's just seen his video and he's got all excited. <laughs> oh, is it bit as John released yes. it? Oh, was it? Oh, great. Yeah. I thought I wasn't sure whether John would remember or not. Oh, that's good. No, well done, Paul. It was great. Told you that last night. But John's much better at the words than me at saying something. So I, 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 John likes to pre-check. You can always tell when I've done a post. There's no spelling and no grammar, as John says. <laughs> right, okay, so we've got three balls of this. Let's just move everything out of the way a minute. Because I don't know what you can see and what you can't see. Let's move the get out of the way. Oh, dear me. So we've got this and then the butter Karen is there yeah. so how to make really nice buttercream really dead dead simple okay and um you always must use butter it doesn't matter to me whether you use salted butter or unsalted butter and um, it's entirely up to you use half and half or you can buy low pack which is lightly salted and um, it really is up to you if you find that icing sugar is too sweet because sometimes people say to me Oh, the flavoured icing sugar is a bit sweet, that one. It's a bit sweet, but it's sugar, and sugar is sweet. It's always been sweet ever since I was a kid. I've never known it to be anything different. So if it is too sweet for you, add salted butter. And if it's too salty, you know what, go half and half. So this is uh, softened butter, and I'm going to pop it in the mixer. You're not going to see the mixer from here, but you'll hear it. So I'm going to pop it in the mixer, and we're going to whip it until it's light and fluffy. And if I need some more, we can make some more. So if you heard another sound going on, Karen's great at putting the dishwasher on. Have you not? <laughs> right, okay, so we've got these colours in here. So um, in my buttercream flowers class today, I was using this violet colour. And um, the colour that I used was Colour Splash Violet, dead easy to colour violet. But I don't want it so dark, so I want a bit more of a lighter one. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the leftover buttercream, pop it in there. It does sound lighter. Yeah. Have you done something to the mixer? It can't sound different to you, Carol. It's still in the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does sound lighter. <laughs> it does sound softer. So we're just going for this nice lilac colour. So I always save all my buttercream as well. Um, I always pop it into an airtight container. And, you know, it lasts for several weeks. You can freeze it. Now, I never freeze buttercream. Never, ever. It's not something I've ever done. And I'm not against it. It's just not something I've done. Probably because I use it too fast. So, I'm just going to make this lovely lilac colour. So, how long do we whip the butter for, Carol? Well, we're going to whip it until it's lovely, light and fluffy. So, I'm just going to turn it up. There it goes. There it goes. There it opening up new tubes and we don't need to keep opening them up. What are we up to? Ah, uh, yeah, but she was 1,900. 
Oh, we need another 1,400. Like and share. Stop mucking about. It's my show, this one. coating yeah you need it not stiffer you need it looser so for the nozzles it's a bit firmer it took me a while to realize that you know because when I used to crumb coat the cake I used to do it with firm buttercream and wondered why it dragged half me uh, cake away <laughs> but, uh, simple thing isn't it yeah so simple things Yes, and we've not had to use it today. So I've got the water ready because because I always use um, a spatula or pallet, a large pallet knife. Sometimes I have a, a large glass of hot water um, so I can stick my pallet knife in and then smooth round it. But we've not had to today. So for what I've got it for, it's absolutely fine. So let me just have a look at this butter here now. It's not quite right yet so I'll just um, smooth it up scrape it all down and then we'll put it back on the mixer there's only one slab of butter in here and I think it could have done with two slabs in but I don't feel I need all that buttercream so we use a two to one ratio yeah we do so we use uh, five, uh, 250 grams of butter and we use 500 grams of icing sugar we're using the sugar and crumbs flavored icing sugar and if you've not used the sugar and crumbs flavoured icing sugar, then you're missing out. Because honestly, it's a great product and um, it's convenient. It's just in your cupboard. So if you want uh, orange zest or key lime or coconut, there it is. It's in the cupboard. It's ready to go. Um, it's white in colour, so you can colour it any colour you want. And uh, for the people abroad, we'll have some exciting news for you very, very soon on how you can get your hands on some. Right, so far, okay, uh, 500 grams I've used for the cake, so so I've used 500 grams of icing sugar and 250 grams of butter. I've now got another 500 grams here, okay, because for the flowers, and, um, and I'm making that there because we need that. So while that's um, whipping, let's bring the cake back round. So what I'm going to do is with this pink, don't ask me what I'm going to do. I really don't know. It's my artistic flair. Who knows? It'll be what it'll be, won't it? So, yeah, hold your breath. So, uh, let me just find a palette knife. Yeah. It'll be what it'll be. So, we're just going to. Simon said to me before, what are you making? I went, no idea. We didn't even know we were making a big cake. I did, I did my class today, my um, uh, buttercream flower class. And um, I said to the ladies there that I'll do cupcakes tonight. <laughs> They'll be there thinking, uh, what happened? <laughs> but we're going to do this. You like Bo She's winging it again tonight. Exactly. I like winging it because, you know what? What you should do is when you're in the kitchen, you really shouldn't get stressed about it at all. You shouldn't get stressed about it. You should just sort of throw it all on and let's hope for the best. Yeah. Let me whip that up there. And when you whip in your buttercream, you should um, whip it for a good five minutes. You can see how soft this is, can't you? Waste of time in making that cake smooth before, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know what I'm doing now. I'll have to hope. So is that all coloured? That'll do, won't it? Let me turn the mixture off. I'll go back to that in a minute. Okay. So we'll use the water now. So let me just wash my blade a minute. see that we're just going to smooth this round together done, done this in this bowl. when you get your little spatulas back in stock carol uh which spatulas the are those oh ones. these ones yes. i don't sell i've just um i've just ordered a load so i'm hoping i don't know what happened but they were on the way and then the um the uh just one second, I'm concentrating girls, I'm concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it said the shipment had been cancelled. Um, but I'm just presuming that it missed its flight or something, I don't know. And I haven't gone back to it, so I'm glad you reminded me actually. I think that looks nice, doesn't it? Does it look nice? I can't see. What do you think, Karen? I think it's very, very pretty that. I like the way you've got the ombre, it's pretty much ombre that, it's nice. Yeah, well that's all it's going to be. So, we're not doing any more than that. We're going to pop it in the fridge for a minute. So let me just clean the board. And um, I don't think we marbled a board actually, so uh, we're going to have to use this board. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I, I got away late for something else. <laughs> don't worry. I'm sure they won't mind having it on a silver board. Are you looking forward to the cake illusionist on Saturday, Carol? Am I looking for... Oh, no, I've got to make a cat. Can you believe it? Yeah. Hey? You're doing it. I know. I don't want to. Why? Well, why would I want to do a... Why would I want to make a cat? Put myself under pressure. <laughs> well, Apparently, she says it's easy. I'm just doing the comments. <laughs> She's it's... told me I've got to do it. <laughs> To be fair, I'm very confident, Hannah. She says I can do it, I can do it. You know what, we may as well give it a go. So I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge just for a couple of minutes while I finish off my buttercream. So um, we've got to go in this fridge, haven't we? It's still, it's still room here. I'll order the shelf before you can get the cake stand in it. I ain't gonna get it in there. Have you got a cake in there? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this fridge. <laughs> the other cake, the other oh, fridge is full. Oh, we've got cake everywhere. <laughs> oh, this is full as well. Hang on. Five minutes. Cake, I've not had a morsel all week. Eh? Hey? Who hasn't had a morsel all week? No, Karen's been very good. Me and Karen go on diets and usually we start on a Monday and usually give up Tuesday. But um, she's she's been good. I've tempted her with all sorts. <laughs> and that's nice, isn't it, Karen? Do you want one? No. Go and try that, Karen. It's really good. <laughs> I had a packet in front of her, that's bad, isn't it? I don't know whether I had any tea though last night. Did I have tea? I don't know whether I can't remember whether we had tea or not. Right, okay then. Um, let me clean this spatula. Well, there's a lot of people excited about Saturday. Yeah, are you? I'm excited, really. If I'm honest, I'm really excited. I'm scared, but I'm, I am excited. So. Will we have any more piping bags? I think they're also thinking about simply making. Have we got any simply making, Jim? Um, I've been trying to get older simply making but they're out of stock but we have got plenty of Talia and I use those all the time and we've got Queen of Hearts back in as well and the Talia are as strong as the simply making yeah, they're, nice yeah they're all the same so then so we've whipped it up till it's nice light and fluffy look so it's all soft it's, it now feels the consistency of margarine Yeah, the classes are great, aren't you enjoying them? They're good fun, aren't they? So who's joined every class so far? Who's gone for every one? Have you heard anything more 
Do you know what? I need. Do you know? I've ordered. I asked Laura to order the bags off Valerie and Christina, and to ask about the nails. And I think Laura's forgot to tell me. So Karen, put it in your phone. Yeah. We can find out tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, Michelle said, "Did you enjoy your steak? Hers was amazing." Oh, mine was amazing. Does she have one? Yes, she did. Which Which Michelle's that? Michelle was, Quinn. Michelle Quinn. Did you buy the box, Michelle? He didn't half rattle on a bit. He takes after his mother, doesn't he? <laughs> He's very passionate about steak, though. <laughs> so um, I have to say, mine was amazing. I don't know who else bought the box. If any of you want to know, my um, son is doing... Um, he's uh, an executive chef. He's only young. He's 34. And... Um, he is an executive chef in London and they work for an event company and that oh sugar I've just thrown the ice and sugar everywhere so you're chopping this in you're meant to be doing this so that you uh, don't throw sugar everywhere but I seem to be throwing it everywhere so you're chopping this in Yeah, so he works for an event company and they've all been furloughed and it's really quite sad because obviously all the events have been cancelled and then what they've been doing is they've been doing voluntary work for um the hospital so uh somebody a very rich millionaire has donated we don't know who it is but they know but we're not, they're not allowed to tell anybody and um stoated, donated millions of pounds millions of pounds to the company um for them to make the uh, food for the national health service so they've been making it for london hospitals so all the staff have gone in for free and worked for free um uh, i think they've been doing it two to three days a week so they've all been doing bits of shifts and they, it's a nice way to keep them all occupied and uh, and it's been but it's been hard though because they're having to cook in a kitchen social distancing and um, I don't know how they're going to go on with their jobs, how their jobs are going to be, because I don't know how the event world's going to be for the future. Anyhow, so their company now are trying to um, cook live. So you buy a box off them and you cook it live. So this, what he did this week was uh, steak night, dinner for two. And Michelle did buy the box. She did she? Yeah. yeah, it was great, wasn't it? So I'm just going to go and wash my cloth and I'm just going to pop the mixer on. So just one minute. So Karen will just look through the questions for you. I'm just going to turn the mixture on slowly first. Just might incorporate, wash my cloth out, and then I'm going to be back. We'll fill up the nozzles. Oh, well, Linda bought the box as well. Linda who? Linda Ribble. Ah, right, good, yeah. well done. Yeah, good. I enjoyed watching it. Yeah, what did you think happened at the end there, at the end? Was it like some car revving at the end or something? I was thinking, why don't they go and close the door? But I think it was probably it was hot and they had, it was boiling in here today. Even though it's not been sunshine and it is really hot, isn't it? So I was thinking, why don't you go and close the door? But anyhow, they were distracted. Oh, they did a great job and the explanation was fine. They loved seeing it explain the cuts on himself. The what? The cuts on himself. Oh yeah, he's burnt himself and cut himself quite a lot. Well, that's all you have to do when you're a chef. Karen's done hers today. <laughs> burnt herself. So I've just turned up the buttercream there. Are you having a look at that, Simon? No. No? Have you forgot? The camera's froze on that one. Oh, the camera's froze. Okay, no worries. I'm looking forward to Japanese week next week. Oh, yeah, it's Japanese week next week. Ooh. I like Japanese food, though. It's one of Ryan's favourite things, that. Do you eat sushi, though? Yeah, I love sushi. Yeah, so here we go. So there is our buttercream. So if I need to colour some more in a minute. The camera's froze, so we couldn't show you it mixing. It's a bit boring watching the mixer go round anyhow, isn't it? There you go. Yeah, so if you want to join that, I don't know. Yeah, he's doing it. If you want to join it, it's, um, it's Rocket Food. So go to Rocket Food website and um, go there and they'll tell you. You don't have to buy the box. You can actually just watch the actual live demonstration via their website. Or you can actually buy the box and you can go, um, go into Eventbrite. And um, so when you buy the box, you actually get a free ticket into Eventbrite. And then you, that, la that class is yours forever. So if you forget how to cook the steak, you can go back to it. Can I watch the live through the event, event right, right? Yeah. Uh, they sent you a link just, just to watch it. Yes, that's right. So obviously once, it, once it's gone, it's gone, I won't be able to get that back No, again. but anybody who's bought yes. the box, they get it for yeah. good. Right, let me just go in there, uh, wash my cloth a minute.
No, I'm sorry, Esther, we don't sell the little bowls. You can pick them all pink. Pick them up. Pick those little bowls <laughs> up. You can pick them all pink. take my cake out first, please? Yeah. In a uh, Bill Coles anywhere in the supermarket. Simon, take the cake out of the fridge. There's any. Um, <laughs> How long have you been, Simon? I've been angry today. <laughs> I don't know what my name is. <laughs> Karen's run here, there, and everywhere today. Yeah. That's great. It's off. Right, so that's the buttercream there. Like I say, I don't know what this cake is going to look like when it's decorated, but you know what? It's going to be, it's going to be absolutely fine. Right. The mixer so. cams. Pardon? I've brought the mixer cam back online. Oh, have you? Right. Okay, then. Great. There it is. So, we've got a little tool called a little roller. Who's got one of these? Who's used one of these? So, so I had to do um, a Facebook, uh, a FaceTime video the other day with somebody because she said, it won't go in, Carol. So um, anyhow, so if you put it in this side with there, uh, so let's just go to the overhead Simon. There's a plastic tube, yeah. And then this is food safe foam. So do be careful, don't be nipping down to B&Q or home base buying one of those rollers because that is not food safe foam, this is. So if it's that side and the foam comes past it, you don't want to be there, you want to be this side where it's thicker, yeah. Then you pop this in and you, Clip it. Don't be frightened of clipping it. Push it, clip it, yeah. Then you get a little plate of icing sugar and corn flour and you roll it. And then you roll out all your smudges. So this has just been in the fridge. So you're just gonna roll it, roll out all your smudges. Dead easy. If you haven't got one of these, you need one in your life. I've gotta be honest, I thought it was a gimmick and it wouldn't work. And um, I, all of you ladies bought into it. I didn't want to sell it, if I'm really honest. I'm dead truthful. I didn't want to sell it. And, uh, and then lots of ladies asked me, would I sell it? So I took £5 deposits off everybody because I thought, oof, right, okay. When it arrived, I still thought, oof. I had a conversation with a lady last week. She ordered one. She's ordered it for her daughter's birthday present because her daughter asked for it. And she, she rang the office and she said, I can't give my daughter this. And I said, well, I'll send you the video because it does work. Anyhow, very happy lady she is now. So look at that. Look how nice and smooth that is. So there you go. Yeah. So let's just do this, okay? So I've got my finger. Woo. Yep. Can you oh. see that there? Where is it? Run this camera. Run that camera. Right, because we're a camera down, aren't we? So I've just... Well, it's just facing the bowl, isn't it? Pardon? It's facing the... Um... Right. Okay, so you can see what I've done there. So just put my finger right the way through it. And, you just and there we go. Sugar on that plate, yeah, it's just icing sugar. So you thought you said icing sugar and flour. No, you can put ice, icing sugar or icing sugar and corn flour. You could do 50 50 if you want to. I don't. I just put icing sugar on. Look, it's gone. And don't worry about any icing sugar um, being left on the cake. It all dissolves. And if you're using um, chocolate icing sugar, just use chocolate. If you're using chocolate buttercream, then you just use chocolate icing sugar. So look at that. Lucy it's wants to know, uh, can they be reused? Yes, just wash them. We haven't used ours. We've got You get six in the packet. And we just keep using two, don't we? That's all. So. I just keep getting two and I keep washing them in, yeah. in, in nice warm, warm water. Yeah, wash them in warm soapy water. Um, as Karen says, wash them warm sort of soap water and leave them on a piece of kitchen towel that way. Take the handle off. You do have to pull the handle, but you know, when you pull the handle, don't be pulling it like that. Because obviously it's like anything, you know, if you're gonna pull it there, you'll break it. Go up here, bit of force. Sorry, I don't wanna knock my cake. There you go. And pull it out, clip it in. And they are 22.99 and you get one handle and six rollers. Yeah. Yeah, if you were first in the queue, you got two handles, you only get one now. And the only reason you get one now is um, the shipping was a lot cheaper when I bought the first lot. And then the shipping this time has cost me £5,000. I can't remember whether it's 4500 plus something else or 5000 plus something else. And then you've got customs. So we'll just go over the top. You've got a couple of people there who's got them and never used them. Oh, get them out of your cupboards and use them, girls. I mean, do you know what? I'm not going to tell you it's perfect, but it does. And look how it got that smudge out before when you knocked it with your cake. I mean, anybody who can who can smooth the cake properly, you know what? You'll still love it because if you do knock it, 
you don't have to go around with your smoothie just put this on it look i can't stop it look, i'm just enjoying myself look, <laughs> should we just do this it's quite there it's quite therapeutic isn't it look 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 <laughs> right let's get the cake out the way again like so, tonight, aren't you? yeah well it's because i didn't know what we were doing karen so you know what we're winging it all the way <laughs> Even John came home before and said, what are you doing? And I went, don't ask. No idea. Who knows? Who knows till the, who who knows knows? the clock? Exactly. That's it. Right. So um, we've got the cream there. Right. So we've got, so we're going to use some big nozzles. We're going to use some really big nozzles. So let me just get clear everything out of the way that we don't need. Let's move some stuff. So that's fine. We can clear that out of the way. Are you finished with that? Yeah, that's fine. So we can clear that out of the way. We've got loads of big nozzles here, okay? So what we'll do is we'll um, put this lovely pink in here. And I might have to make some more pink, actually, because uh, we won't have enough buttercream. So let me add a bit more pink. Everybody who has used it has been pleasantly surprised. So don't be scared of using it, seriously. And you know, you just see me put that big gouge in it and uh, it gets it out. So, you know, there's no more crying. Oh my God, I've ruined my cake. And you know what? It's great for those people who just can't get a smooth cake. It's about as best as you're going to get it. You know, some of you are very lucky and you know what? You can do a perfectly smooth cake. Well, I can't. And I'm not blagging it. I really can't. So I can sort of get it halfway there. So I'm going to use this nozzle, oh, where's it gone? This nozzle, the sunflower, uh, sun dancer cup. And it's, um, it's an extra large nozzle and it's a 220 oh, extra large. So 220. Use that one. Have you got an update on the mini nozzles? The mini nozzles are being manufactured. So I've spoken to the Russians, they're back in work. They assure me they will be done in two weeks. So I'm hoping by this weekend, they will tell me that they're done. I'm hoping so. I'll give them till next weekend because they're never on time and then um, then they'll dispatch them and then I, I have to be honest it's very difficult getting stuff out of Russia the amount of times that they have dispatched and it's gone back to them and then it comes back I watch it it's like watching a merry-go-round go round and round so they they send it to me and then it goes back to them they send it to me again it goes back to them so I'm hoping to have them here in the next three weeks so I have got a waiting list for them the minis um i think i've only put them on in the um the waiting list is in the cupcake bouquet group isn't it and then what's spare i'll put there but i am ordering another lot tracy's just joined us tracy man oh hello tracy man <sighs> yes i'm live tracy <laughs> poor tracy she does a live every single week and not once do i remember i remember at six in the morning i remember at seven in the morning and I remember at nine and then that's it. So I forget because I have to activate her so that she can come live. So uh, poor girl. And I told the office today, do not disturb me. I've got too much on. I don't want any disturbances. And not long after I've rang them, made that phone call, they rang me and I went, sorry, but Tracy needs to get on the page. So I hope you're enjoying her lives. They're brilliant, aren't they? So, uh, I think Tracy is hosting something with Cake International. They've asked me if I'll do that, so I'm having a chat with them tomorrow as well. I think Tracy is the host. Right, so then we've got white. So we are going to have to make a little bit more colour here. So let's get it in, in the bowl here. So let's use the leftovers there. So I'm just going to make this a bit more purple. If you're wondering where this purple came from, 
um, I had I had a class this afternoon, an online class, and um, I do bonus classes. So basically, in the buttercream flowers class, um, it doesn't start until the fifteenth of July. But the ladies in there are that excited. I said she would do a bonus class, and what bonus class means is I just pop in, and we muck about, don't we, girls? <laughs> We have a right old time. <laughs> so you see this. So I do everything on the live on the on live here. I know some of you say, why don't you have it prepared and ready? But it's best that you see how it's all put together, really. Let me go and get some more palette knives. The small acrylic one. When you're getting the small clear rolling pan, pins back in stock. We've not had them for a while, have yeah. we? I think it's because I can't get them. The thing is, with this COVID business now, um, there's a lot of stuff that you just can't get. But I, don't, I think we were out of stock before then. I think the supplier hasn't had any for ages. So. Um, it took him ages to get the 20-inch ones. Yeah, it? <laughs> it did. Yeah. It did. If you can send me a link to which one it is, and then I'll have a look. I probably won't get back to you until tomorrow. I've got to be honest, we've been in this kitchen since very early this morning. And I am tired, and I've had no tea. And I only had prawns for lunch. And I don't know how many macarons I've scoffed to make up for it. So I'm on a sugar high at the moment, which I really shouldn't be. And I've actually not sat down, so I said to Simon, they did offer to stay with me. I said, no, you go. And I'll carry on doing this. So we're just making this very soft green. Right, now this nozzle, I hope we've got it in stock, but I didn't check. But this is called the Lotus Flower. Okay. All these designs are Laura's designs. So all the extra large nozzles, my daughter, Laura, not Laura in the office, my daughter, Laura, she designed all these and uh, the Russians make them for us. So I'm just putting green on the outside. And that one. Yes, Amanda, the cupcake bouquet class, it doesn't matter if you're a kid, but I can't get the word out, <laughs> beginner. Oh no, for the, uh, no, it don't. For the cupcake bouquet class, no, you can be a beginner. The buttercream flowers one, you need to have a little bit of an idea what you're doing. There's quite a lot of flowers that we can do that are really very easy, but there's a couple. But to be fair, I'm starting off with the easy ones. Hi, John. Hello. You all right? I'm fine, thank you. Doing my normal waffling in here, John, winging it. I was just telling them that you asked me before, what am I making? And I said, you have no idea. <laughs> do you still not? No. <laughs> thinking about it as we're going along <laughs> they're not sure either they just know something's going to happen <laughs> let's take a bit more purple see i don't waste anything this is what we used in the class this afternoon so even though it's only a little bit that's left because i was uh, doing this i don't waste anything at all So what do you think of our new equipment then, John? It's looking good. It's looking good, isn't it? Hey, We had a great start to the live, didn't we, Simon? As ever. We needed subtitles. <laughs> 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 Little yes. problem with sound. <laughs> you were trying to do this, aren't you? <laughs> yep. Maria wants to know, why do you use a spatula to stir instead of a spoon? You can use a John, spoon. John's giving away all of our, our technical yeah. secrets. You can use a spoon. Just makes everybody else jealous, Simon. <laughs> Don't you worry, it's not giving nothing away, they're all jealous now. So, <laughs> um, you can use a spoon. Do you know what? I used to use a spoon all the time, but I like these because they're flexible and I like these because they, they scrape round. So, yeah, no, feel free to use a spoon, no problem with that. Just don't mix. So, if you notice, I'm always palleting, paddling, I call it. So, let's get the rest of my bag. Uh, she has a 20 inch one. She thinks it's nice. It's a 13 inch one. Oh, the 13, one. 13 inch one. Oh, right. I think I can get those. Send me a message. 
Oh, Simon, uh, John's on. John's running around with his camera here, taking pictures. You'll oh, see them all soon. Yeah. Evening, John. Hello, lovely John. Hello. You're going to come on and say hello to them? No. You're still keeping yourself a mystery? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can be disappointed then. <laughs> right, okay then. So um, I've got this nozzle now. So this is um, a daisy nozzle. I'm just going to use this in white. So I love this one. So we're just going to use this in white. No, Esther, you haven't missed the Macron's live. We haven't done a live with Macron's. No, we haven't. No, I was just showing you that's where we are. I um, I've only ever made macarons a couple of times in my life, and they've either been an amazing success or an amazing fail. And um, so I want to use the whipping it up with it. And um, I've had a little practice, but I haven't really had much time to have a proper practice. So um, we're there. I think we're there, girls. I think we're there. And Wendy DeWitt, Boo? No, Bose. Bo Bose, is it? B-O-S, is it Bose? Yeah, so I sent her some. She's a great lady. She um, comes, when I, when I go and do the German show, she always comes and brings us um, macarons. And she always makes some of her flavoured, our flavoured icing sugars. So I sent her the whipping it up. Now she's got a recipe and she's really happy. And I said, could I use that recipe? But I haven't used it yet. I'm still doing my own recipe, but I'm going to use hers tomorrow. And Karen has been making macaroons. So we've both been making macaroons, me and Karen. And then it's really funny because I perfected it over the weekend and so did Karen. Yeah. We came in and as she said, oh, Carol, this is what we need to do. And I went, yeah. She went, how much water do you need? I went, yeah, this much, this much. She went, that's what I did. How much condensed milk did you use? I went, yeah, that's what I did. So it's really funny. We got it together over the weekend. So um, there we go. We've got that, we've got that. And we need a cake back, don't we? This bit of a dodgy cake, really. Right, so we've got that. We need some leaves. Oh, yeah, let's do this nozzle as well. Five petal tulip. So I'll just get the rest of this colour in. Oh, you will freeze on the laptop. It just yeah, freeze, sorry. That's all right. No, the, if you if you touch the laptop and pause it or anything, it freezes. That's why I say do comments on the phone. Yeah. But if you try doing it on the laptop, it freezes, doesn't it? I'll we'll just put this on. We'll be there soon, girls. Seriously, we'll be there. Who uses nifty nozzles to make cakes with? You should use them, you know. They're so easy, really. And I do it all the time, live, no tricks. This is how it is. Right. And then what other... Right, we need a leaf tip. I'm that green round. I think I'm probably going to need a bit more green, but we'll just use this for now. So do make sure you watch Cake Flicks on Saturday and you'll see where it all went horribly wrong. <laughs> but I still sent it them. I, did, I couldn't even put it right. So you're going to see it there. Unless you're in the um, Cake Illusionist class, then you'll have to wait till later. Right, okay. On the board. Let's get the cake. Oh, amazing. So we haven't got a fancy ball to put this on. Let me go and wash my cloth out again. Any comments, Karen? This is talking about the nifty nozzles and how some of the purchasers that use them all the time. <laughs> Wendy's online. Oh, when do you make when the you When she says, hey, I'm here with my difficult Dutch name. I'm sorry, Wendy, <laughs> if I pronounced it wrong. <laughs> Listen, Wendy, I was struggling. I had Wendy DeWitt Woo. I didn't know what I could, what I was saying. Karen was trying to give me her version. I said, I can't get it right. I can't get it wrong. So, uh, yes, so I was just saying, Wendy, I don't know whether you heard. So we've met you at the shows. You brought macarons for us. And uh, I sent her the whipping it up to have a go with her, 
let's have a go with uh giving it a go with the macarons and stuff and uh she thinks she's cracked it so i said to her today can i use your recipe she very kindly said yes but i haven't used it yet right okay so we need um, a small piping bag and this is how i do everything when i'm decorating the cake it's just so easy so uh how much more cream have i got in there I'm just going to put the buttercream in here. This is just so easy. So many of you have seen this before. Um, the way I do this. But it's just nice to see the different nozzles. So I'm using different nozzles than what you've normally seen today. Let everybody be at home now, Wendy, trying to say your name. <laughs> oh, we go. What's she called? <laughs> so I don't know if there's any newbies tonight. Matt Ashley asked if there's any newbies watching and if you're enjoying it. I don't know how our audience, did we get to 1,900? And if not, why not? <laughs> just going to cut the end of the nozzle off there never worry if it's a wonky cake with nifty nozzles it saves it all so what we're going to do is we're just going to go around I didn't cut my hole big enough yeah, so keep liking and sharing yeah keep so liking we, and sharing so we can get those numbers past a thousand please <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, keep liking and sharing. Yes, Esther, if you buy the Cake Illusionist course, yeah. uh, you get to watch it anytime. Oh, yeah, you can watch it anytime. You buy it now, you'll be able to watch it on Saturday. And then join in at your leisure. Uh, um, do it at your leisure then. We do it live, our classes. We do them live because we think it's better to have the interaction with you. And then we can answer questions as well. And then anybody who joins later, half the time, the questions have already been asked that you've been thinking. So it's great. And everybody loves it because each of the tutors are doing three classes each. And um, so, you know, when you look at it, it's like £20 a class, isn't it? It's only me who's doing them forever. <laughs> Please don't say I said that. I don't want to drop dead next week and then you're not going, she never did all the classes. How much you all the classes well, sorry. Slight problem. Right, okay then, so we're going to use the lotus flower, so we're just going to stick this onto the cake, so this is the extra large, so we're just going to go onto the, onto the buttercream here, so squeeze up, relax, squeeze up, relax, squeeze up, relax, forgot to say, onto the cake, squeeze up, relax, onto the cake, squeeze up, relax, onto the cake, squeeze up, relax, Onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. Onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. We've got a few newbies. You've got a few newbies, are you? Yeah, so we're... We've uh, got a few newbies and we've also got Gillian, who, for Gillian Smith of Radisi, they hope yeah. that's right. She, met, she watched you when you was on Crafters Companion. That was her first ah. time to watch her and she, she tried them and she loves them. Ah, fantastic, that's great. We're totally relaxed here in the sugar and crumbs kitchen because we don't we don't pretend we're something we're not okay we're basically you know what we're just well i don't know what we are actually we're just trying to show you our products that's all and um you know i've been decorating cake decorating for a while on a hobby basis if that's what you want to call it but uh, i don't do it for a profession i i just do it for a bit of fun and then because i have sugar and crumbs as a company I started doing Facebook Lives just so that you could learn about our products. Because I always think it's nice to show you the product before. So this is called the injection method, this, when you get to the end. We don't want to waste any. So I hope you like the colours of these. Well, just a few shout-outs. I've got Zan, Zana, who's new. Lisa Sweeting's new. 
Uh, we've got Davy Abra, Debbie Ray, and Pamela Pearson. Oh, hello, hello ladies. ladies. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Well, we're a great group here. Everybody who watches Sugar and Crumbs are lovely. So we get the odd oddball now and again, but then again, I'm an oddball. So what do you expect? So, uh, but everybody here is lovely. Just ask questions. We're totally relaxed. We have Karen and Simon in the kitchen and our audience is brilliant. Brilliant. They're always happy to help. There we go. Pink's lovely. And it's the same method for everything. So it's onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. Onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. Onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. On to, is this camera working again, Simon? Or has it gone? You, yeah, you've, you're on this one at the moment. Yeah, okay. Onto the like cake. Would you rather be on the side one? No, I, just, I was just asking. Yes, it is, yeah. So we need to be on the front one. So onto the cake, just making sure they can see. Squeeze up, relax. When I say relax, let go of your fingers. Relax. Ooh, I can't, I can't get myself around the camera, mate. Which one do you want to be on? That Can we go on the front one? <laughs> you, you, you were doing it in front of that one. So yes, I know. Just that, one. that one. Now. Which, Sorry. Which one do you want? The front one. Yeah. That one. So when I say relax. Oh, it's weird, these cameras, isn't it? Trying to look at myself. I need to be here. Relax your fingers. Yeah. So onto the cake. Squeeze up. Relax. And move it so. a little bit. Like that, if you want to. Yeah. Put your hand in. So there we go. So I've got a little bit of buttercream left. So we call this the injection method. Now I think my nozzle might pop soon. So um, because I did cut it a bit too short at the back. So the injection method is when we fill it up, we fill it up and we squeeze it like this and then we hold it like an injection and then we put it on. So let me just get these on. It looks pretty these colors, doesn't it? What do you think? Karen's engrossed. No, it's because yeah. I was writing to all the newbies. Oh, right. welcome. I was doing it in your uh, name. No, I was doing it in your name, you see. Right. Now I'll be wondering, oh, what's gone on there then? <laughs> How did I manage to do that while I was live? I was clever. <laughs> right. So then we've got um, one called the posy. Okay. So we'll just put the posy on now. So again, same method. Squeeze onto the cake. Squeeze up. Relax. Onto the cake. Squeeze up. Relax. Onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. Onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. Onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. They're all gorgeous, these. Uh, look at these, they're all gorgeous. What's the pink one called, please? Carol? The pink one is called a Sun Dancer Cup. Now, there's Sun Dancer and there's Sun Dancer Cup. The cup means, so I think this is the clearest one there. It's the full flower. The Sun Dancer Cup, it cuts off just the end. Go to the top. Yes. So let me see, um, there's no good ones on the top. They're all on the side, aren't they? So I think that one there, you can see. So see how the, the petal goes all the way around the Sun Dancer Cup, whereas when it's just Sun Dancer, it's actually open. Yeah. So let's just uh, pop another one there. That's saying how beautiful it's looking already. Yeah. It's just so easy. And you know what? I keep saying this to you all, all the time. If my friends see these cakes, they go, oh, Carol, you're so good. The detail, the detail. You must have spent hours. And I go, well, no, they're my nozzles. They just don't listen, do they? So I get fed up with telling them now. And then when I take them to the old folks home or the hospital or the police station, they're like, oh, my goodness, look at they, that. And the hours <laughs> of work. And, of course, I don't say anything we to them. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> yeah. It is hours of work. Obviously, you're so worth it. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm using the uh, five petal tulip now. So this is just, oh, this one there. So when they come off there, a dangly, that's because I didn't sit it on the cake. Never panic, onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. Onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. Onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. So I'm just gonna pop a few round here. Debbie is one of our new girls today. Said, What nozzle would you recommend to start off with? 
What, for the nifty nozzles? Yes. Oh, um, get yourself a rose nozzle, definitely. This five petal tulip, the daisy I'm going to use is good. Uh, they're all good, to be fair. You won't go wrong with any of them. So people do make me laugh because they say, I can use that one, but I can't use that one. And don't get fixated about the name. We don't care what they're called. I just called them that so I can pick them in the warehouse. <laughs> it's easier than picking a number, that's all. Just use them all exactly the same way. So we're going to use the daisy nozzle now. So I'm just going to pop that there. Because she uh, double coated her bag. Yes, that's right. So I'm just going to pop a few under here. I'm going to use up all my buttercream in a minute. So don't worry. So it's just a nice, don't they all look lovely in that colour? Carl is a newbie and she's signed up for the first class on the 15th of July. Oh, have you? Great. Asking, does she need to practice prior? No. Don't do nothing. Just go and watch all the other lives in the units. If you want to practice them, feel free. But go to the units and ask the ladies in the group. They'll all help you. The ladies in the group are amazing. So they'll all help you. Right, okay, so we've got that. And then because we've got that little daisy one there, I'm using the 14 star tip here. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that. Be a good idea where you could buy them, wouldn't it? Sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. <laughs> so everything that I'm using is on our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And um, just go to the brand. We'll just go to piping tips to be fair. Because if you go to piping tips, you'll see the gems, gem nozzles, the Wilton nozzles, the PME nozzles, and the um, nifty nozzles. She's now. addicted to us, isn't she, Georgie? <laughs> that's it, she can't get enough. Right, okay then, so that's that there. So we're going to put all the buttercream together in a minute. So I'm just going to do some leaves now. So I'm just going to fill in some leaves. And you can use the extra large nozzles on cupcakes, can't you? Can't oh yeah, I've done it on cupcakes for yeah. you. Do you want me to do a couple on cupcakes now? Yeah, we've got a couple of new girls asking. Oh yeah, I'll show you the extra large on cupcakes. Just give me a minute. Let me finish this cake first. And Denise is uh, quite new to this. She's saying, would all this work on a tray bake? Yes, you can do it on anything you want. It look nice on tray bakes, actually. If we're practicing, it's great to practice on a rich tea biscuit. Yeah. I've always told all my students, if they don't want to make cake, if they don't want to make cakes, Get yourself rich tea biscuits and do it on them. When I go to the shows, I've always got a packet of rich tea biscuits with us. And um, so if you don't want to just get white buttercream or pink buttercream, don't bother mixing it all together. Just practice with your nozzles. Don't use digestives because they break in half when you're holding them. Don't use ginger nuts, they're too small. The rich tea are just perfect. It doesn't have to be uh, who makes rich tea, but if it is, you can... I was going to say, they all have their own brand, they yeah. use them, can't they? So we're just doing this random. If you see, I've not gone all the way round in a circle there, because it's just meant to be like a bouquet of flowers, isn't it? Right, okay. I've got a couple of these uh, little pearl balls that I just want to shove in as well. Don't know why. Just thought they might look flat. <laughs> I don't know what I want to shove them in. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw them in the cupboard before. I, think they look <laughs> I thought, oh, you know what? I don't know whether they look right or not when I've just spoiled it. <laughs> now, Nicola Fox is asking, would the nozzles work with whipped ganache? Um, I don't think they do, if I'm honest. I've never tried it, but feel free to try it. I don't know why I've done that, actually. I've got some other little balls as well. What other little balls have I got here? These are happy sprinkles, these. I just thought I'd put a couple of these in just to bling it up a bit, actually. 
These um, these are, these are um, happy sprinkles. We sell these as well, but they're not hard. You know when you get those um, dragees and they're rock hard, and you break your teeth and you end up in the dentist, or you've got no, you've got you broke your false teeth or whatever. Well, these are, are chocolate. They like to feel decoration. Yeah. We do them. We do them all in different colours. So, uh, and this one is chocolate explosion. So just let me go to the camera there. Can you see there's different sizes in there? On the overhead, but they're all yeah. yeah on the overhead. So they're all chocolate. Look, let me cut one in half. Let me just bash one. Are you putting any leaves on? I've just put a few leaves on. Oh, no, because it's only because Lucy's just asking what number did you use for leaves? Oh, three, new, five, two. She's a new lady. Three, five, two. I, I usually use for the bigger. Oh, I'm getting, you're going to have to trust me on this one. I'm going to bite it. I have to bite it. There you go. Look. Just see it? The teeth all intact. Yeah, chocolate. I think it's like a chocolate Maltese, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah. It's like mm. it is a, a chocolate crunch, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to wipe my hand. So we do these, they're great. They're cocoa, they're like little chocolate balls, they they're lovely. Yeah, I used the 352. I'm going to put a few more of these around. I've washed my hands, don't worry girls. You get big ones in here as well. Let's get that one there. You know, sometimes there comes a point where less is more, but I've started now. So we're just going to put them there. That'll do. Right, so what we need to do, we need to do something with the bottom of the cake. It's looking all right on the top, isn't it? So we need to do something with the bottom of the cake. So let me just go and find a 1M tip for you. Where's that 1M tip? Oh, that So when you use this 1M tip, all the 352, they're very, very sharp. So roll down your piping bag like you would with a pair of stockings, okay? And get it on the end of your finger and then just guide it in like that. Then push it back, cut it, go forward. It has to go back again. You have to do this a few times. Yeah, the chocolate, they won't break your teeth, those. So what? Elizabeth's very excited now because they're chocolate. Who's that? Elizabeth, what's she saying? Because you don't want to break your teeth. No, you won't break your teeth on those. It's the dragees that are the killers. But you won't break your teeth on the happy sprinkles. You'll be fine. So let me just squeeze what I've got in here. In fact, let me just go and get a, a glass tube. Oh, Debbie said it looks gorgeous. It's like a flower bed in full bloom. Oh. So I'm just going to put this cup here a minute because I want to empty all my nozzles. I don't waste anything. So don't be throwing stuff away. So we'll use that little bit of buttercream that was left there. Ooh, <laughs> that one I'm just chucking over there. It's on a clean board, so don't worry. Hey? Yeah. I got you before though, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> I didn't think you could chuckle that. <laughs> I was mixing something before and me and Karen both got it right in the face. <laughs> <We're>, ooh! <laughs> so, just pop that in. Don't worry if it's gone crumbly, it'll be fine. Do the happy sprinkles come in gold? Uh, they do, and I think I've got gold, but I think they're only just medium size. I don't think there's any um, other sizes to them. So we're going to... And we do, we do do the um, the rods. Now the rods are a bit of a different game. They do break your teeth. They're spaghetti them. So let me just push this down. So I'm just using up all the excess. Got two, haven't you? I'm going to put a bit of white in. This is called mucking about. But we like mucking about with Carol McFarland. Who likes playing with Carol McFarland and mucking about? <laughs> what you're buying into, isn't it? Absolutely. John used to watch me. When John used to do cameras, he used to sit there and think, oh my Lord, how are we going to get out of this one? And then he used to say, I don't know how you do it, Carol, but it always looks good at the end. And there you go, well done, love. 
<laughs> so we're just going to keep pushing down. I think even Simon sits there and wonders what the hell we're doing. <laughs> what you're doing now. No, I'm just mixing the colours to get them using up all the buttercream. I'm hoping I'm going to have enough to go all the way around the base of the cake. So we haven't done a pretty board because we've got held up. So I'll just use this bit of a uh, three, five, two leaf a minute. So we'll just do a couple of leaves here. I do like to use the three six six if I'm honest, it's bigger. It gives you bigger leaves, but you know what we'll have to have what we've got. And have you just used all your buttercream? I oh, have. Yeah. Oh, Why? Because you were supposed to be showing somebody on oh. the cake. Because <laughs> it was just reminding me. <laughs> oh. oh you'll have to join the buttercream flowers class then, won't you? <laughs> the cupcake bouquet okay yeah. class. No, if I've got any left, I should have, I should have it. Oh, don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I'll do it in the morning. <laughs> What's she got to make? I said I'd do a cupcake, didn't I? With, with, with the, the big nozzles. nozzles Forgot myself, I am sorry. Can you not still do that? Well, I might do. Well, at what time is it? It's only 25 past nine. It's only past what? It's only 25 past nine. I know, we're having an early dart or slot tonight, weren't we? You've only been here 12 hours, Charlie. <laughs> Hey, you two got to disappear for a while. I'm still here. Right, okay then. So um, I'm just going to... Yeah, if he's not careful, we will... Somebody says they should have, you, should have a, you should have a book about you do the camera carol and Simon can bake. Yeah. <laughs> Dying to get Simon, Mark and John on, aren't they? Yes. Let me tell you now, you haven't got a chance of getting John on. Uh, it is, yeah. And there's a bundle you can buy in there with all the bits in for 30 quid. So I think I'm going to have enough buttercream to get through. Ooh. Oh, that really smells <laughs> gorgeous. It's, the, the smell's just wafting over here. Oh, see, see, with me, you don't need these straight edges. No. Yeah? I yeah. That. That That's called cake decorating beautiful. with Carol. We don't need straight edges. Do not worry about it. Right, okay then. I think I can squeeze enough buttercream together. So what do we think of this? Do we like it? It's a good, isn't it? Eh? Oh, give me nipple parts and lights, yeah. please. Dead easy, that, isn't it? So, you know, if you give that to anybody, look how red my face is. I can see how red it is. Crikey, got a suntan in here. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, if you can... Um, with using the nozzles... <laughs> so with using the nozzles... Um, you know, look look at that. People think that you've spent hours and hours and how long have we been doing this? We messed about putting the cake together, Absolutely. didn't we? Then we made the buttercream and we're only an hour and a half in. Cool, isn't it? And if you watch Cake Flicks on Saturday and I'll show you how to make my sponge, my sponge is even, even easier. I can't tell you how to make an easy sponge. And the sponge that we made on Cake Flicks is what we've used for this cake. So you've seen me. So uh, what you saw is um, on Cake Flicks, you'll see that I've made the sponge. Well, Karen made them actually. She made the morning sponge and we put them together for the cake for Cake Flicks. And then I made the sponge on the live for Cake Flicks. And that's what we're using for this cake. If anybody wonders what I'm talking about, we've done a pre-recording for Cake Flicks on Saturday at 11 o'clock. And it does go horribly wrong at one point, so you might want to watch. <laughs> right, okay, so let's get a cupcake out. And let's get a bit of buttercream out. So I hope you like that, really pretty. And you know, I'm always saying to the girls in the uh, buttercream uh, flowers class and the cupcake bouquet, sometimes just go pastel. Pastel is really very pretty. People like pastel. Well, then little parts and likes are absolutely flying through. Good, 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 good. Right, can you get on your, on your, in your car to get up here and clean up? I'm knackered. And that, like I said, you've got her son's attention. He's yeah. just off his Xbox, his eyes, when he says, Mum, can you make me that? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just getting a couple of cupcakes, guys. It's Barbara's first time of watching us. Barbara's first time, yeah. is it? Oh, Barbara right. Fisher. Yeah. Ah, great. So just a minute, I'm just trying to find a couple of cupcakes. Well, I'm not trying to find them, I'm trying to get them out of the box. Hang on a minute. Oh, it's been a long day, hasn't it, team? Absolutely. And we're back tomorrow. And it starts all over again. Yeah. And we're back tomorrow. <laughs> and we're back right. Saturday. 
Simon. Um, I know, it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to ring you up to say, are you still in bed? Right, I've got some buttercream left from uh, what we did with cake flakes, so let's do, let's do it that way. So let me just see where those big nozzles are. It's the extra large nozzles you wanted, yes. wasn't it? Yes, so what have I done with those there? Uh, cake flakes so. is 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. Right, so we've got pink in here, okay. So we don't waste nothing. What we're going to do is we're going to put this yellow in. So you now know that the cake on cake flakes is yellow. <laughs> Which it would be, wouldn't it? Because we did um, a salted caramel, a banana and salted caramel cake. And well, we've done one there as well. <laughs> it's pink. So we'll just put the yellow in. So I'm just using up my buttercream. I'll show you some cakes as well. So if you want to join the buttercream flowers class, um, you can use them. So we're just going to start off with some, and then we're using the caramel colour here. Okay, she's very confused about the cupcake, uh, the cupcake bouquet classes. She says um, about paying for it, but then is she allowed to watch it later on? Yes, you can. Okay, so let me tell you how the classes work, everybody. There's a few of you who've got yourself a bit confused about it. Let me just um, let me just sort this nozzle out first. No idea what's going to come out of here actually. It's got pink on the outside, and then that there. Let me just go in there. Look, I'm making a right mess of my table. One second. One second, one second. It's going to be an amazing colour. It's going to be like a, 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 a rainbow colour. Is it? Out. Yes. <laughs> Right, okay, so let's talk to you about the classes. So the classes, I came up with this idea because we were in lockdown. Basically, here in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen... Oh, I can see bits on my thing. Can't work out which way I am. I'll just rub the fat bits away. Right, okay, so because we're in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, we had loads of classes booked in. So uh, we, had, we had loads booked in. We had loads of tutors booked in. And uh, we had, it was going to be really very, very busy. And then lockdown came and people were asking what we were going to do and we really didn't know what to do. And, um, and then I came up with the idea of doing some online classes. Now, there's lots of companies out there who do professional online classes, which is brilliant. But I don't, I'm going all wrong here with my pin, yeah. So which way does it go? Sorry, I'm looking at myself in here. Look at that. Simon, you're going to have to make it so it works so I can see which way I'm going. You want it it's like back to front, isn't it? Right, so anyway, I've come up with this idea of doing online classes, but live, because I do Facebook Lives, and I've been doing Facebook Lives for years, and it's like I said earlier, I was one of the first to start doing Facebook Lives for cake decorating. Um, I thought we'll do Facebook Lives with a difference for cake classes, and really what I wanted to do was be in touch with the students like I am in the classroom. So that's basically what we've done, and it works really well. Everybody loves it. So we started off with my own classes, which is cupcake bouquets, and we do some basic um, cake decorating there and some flowers, and we make peonies, we use the Russian piping tips, we make roses. What else have we made in there, Karen? I can't think what else we've made in there, but we're going to be used like we've, we're going to use um, some molds in there, um, and we've added we've added little things to it, and everybody absolutely loves it. So I do that class every single month, and you can just join as and when you want. You can join the class um, and do it with us on the day, or you can just follow at your leisure. And the good thing is now, when you join, you can go back and do the last three classes, and there's two bonus classes in that group as well. So it's well worth it. And if you're at work, you can just come in and join in. So lots of people like to just watch for the day and then do it at their leisure so that they're joining in with the commentary and the fun and the chat and then they'll do it at their leisure. There's some people who start the day but then they get tired and if you get tired there's no race, just sit back, you're done, watch the rest of the day and then come back to it later. Just pop your kids' cakes in the fridge, they're fine, they're fine in the fridge. For a week, leave them there, they're absolutely fine. And then there's those people who don't manage to watch it on the day and then they'll come and do it on the weekend. So, and uh, that's 60 pound, it's an absolute bargain. You can't you can't moan at that. And then there's um, a bundle in there for the cupcake bouquet class that you can buy, it's 30 pound, and that gets you started. So that's my class. But then I actually started to ask the tutors, the tutors that were due here in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. And I've asked them to commit to three classes 
So they've committed to three classes for £60. So if you look at it, you're getting three classes at £20 a go, okay? So they won't repeat the class. So if you've just missed Georgia with the, with the um, teapot class, you can still watch it and you can still follow it and you'll still enjoy it. And the good thing is with it being live, when you're playing it and going along with it, you will suddenly feel that you're in the kitchen as well. Uh, and that is how it feels. The only thing is, is that we're not answering any questions for you, but we didn't answer questions for everyone because lots of people didn't comment. Um, and then Georgie is back in the kitchen on the 21st of July and the 8th of September and then we've got Hannah the cake illusionist she does her first class on Saturday and that's going to be really exciting so if you you know the things that she makes is absolutely amazing so she's got three classes I don't know her other two dates yet and then we've got Molly Robbins she was in on the 4th of June doing her burger cake and nobody could believe they could do that burger yeah. cake could they, they? a lot of people didn't think they could do the hot the teapot cake yeah. but the burger cake they really thought it was ex, you know beyond their ex, beyond their skills and they were absolutely amazed so lots of ladies are watching her tonight they'll vouch for it they just couldn't believe they could do it and you can go and watch that at your leisure and then she's doing um, little pup faces on her next class which is the 24th of July you want to sign up for that and she said she'll throw in a, a pussy cat or two as well so they're little puppies faces and then the class she's going to do off that is the she's going to do a dog on four legs so that will be using her mold which is the laying down mold and the four leg mold as well so uh, great skills and then if people keep signing up and joining then the tutors will do more classes but if they stop signing up and joining then they can only do the free so it's all about people keep joining joining and making it worth the tutors while for coming yeah good and your next class is 15th of July, isn't it? Yeah, so I've got two classes running. I've got buttercream flowers, which starts on um, Tuesday. Um, and we're doing an Austin Rose in that class, a David Austin Rose or an Austin Rose or an English Rose, whatever you want to call it. And um, we did a little bonus class today because for me, because I'm here, I throw in little bonus classes and the ladies like it. So it's a nice way. It's very informal. We just sit here and chat and, um, and we do cake decorating. So it's as though you're in the room and they'll tell you that exactly the same, I see here Karen's there Simon's there and you're at home but you you act what you talk to us as well and um, and it's all at a lovely pace um, so the buttercream flowers class is uh, a two-hour session every Tuesday unless Georgie's doing a class and then we move it to a Thursday and then the cupcake bouquet class is an all-day class okay that's an all-day so we only do that once a month so we're booked in now for the 15th of uh, July and then the 12th of August and um, I, I think we're going to miss September um, I will try and get one done in September but we're moving uh, buildings and when we move buildings I don't know what date I'm going to get in so it might be the end of September before I get a class in there um, but good it's all good it's good fun you should join they're great but you can't join one class and have access to all of them some of you have thought that's what's happened you only have access to that tutor for that class yeah great right so we're here hope that's explained everything and I'm sure all the other ladies who are on the classes are going join join so I would go and put the buttercream in the bag in the one of the bag that's nearly gonna burst yeah, so we've got a lot of ladies on here helping, saying how yeah. great the classes are. They are. They love them. The ladies absolutely love them. I get so many emails going, Carol, don't know how you thought of this idea, but it's absolutely brilliant. And everybody's come friends. And in the groups, the groups are so nice. They're so funny. And I have to thank Jane McDougall because she has probably the best, are they called GIFs? Yes. Little gift video. I don't know where she finds them, but they're hilarious. And now the rest of the group are finding them. It's just so funny. The whole conversation is in the, these little videos. So let me just show you here because I've just been going on a little bit here. Can we see on the overhead there? Can you see that clearly there, Simon? So I cut this piping bag too, uh, too small before we went live and um, it was halfway across but I just went with it because I knew it would last for the cake that I was doing. I didn't think that I would actually be doing any more. So when, when you cut your bag, you must cut it in line with the tip, okay? So the other bags that we've done, where's the other big bags? So this is a big bag. So you can see, I don't know whether you can see that. I cut that on the tip and it's stretched to there, which is where it should stretch to. But because I cut this halfway, it's gone all the way back. So I'm now going to have to drop this whole bag into here because if I press it now, it will burst out and we don't want that to happen. So what you do is you cut just in line with the nozzle. There you go. 
There we go, and can just keep it in the same bag. So we want to do a cupcake, do we? So where's the cupcakes? So with the cupcakes, you do need to put a little bit of buttercream on. Definitely round the centre of the cake. You can cover the whole of the cake, I never do. But just a little cup, not a big thick layer, just a little thin layer. Now for these um, giant nozzles, you only can get three flowers on. So we're going to go one onto the cake. So if you do that from the front camera there, Simon. So onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. So onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. When you relax, and then we're going to get some leaves. So we've got three of them on there. And we're just going to do some leaves. Squeeze, stop, pull. Squeeze, stop, pull. Squeeze, stop, pull. So three leaves in each one. And that's my little chant. Squeeze, stop, pull. And I've done this on so many of the Facebook Lives here. Everybody knows it. Squeeze, stop, pull. And we'll just do a couple of little baby leaves in there. There we go. And there we go. I'm sure I'll show it that way. Yeah. So sorry about the mix-up of colours there, but it's all we had left. It's all we had to work with. So then what have we got over here then? I don't know. Can we just try and do another one? Let's see what I can get in this one here. So I'll push the buttercream into this nozzle, just so you can see what this one's like. This is another extra large. And then we're done, ladies. If you want to ask me any more questions, I'll bring the big cake back so you can see what that is. They've all told you about the nifty nozzles. Some of you do struggle with them. I'm not sure why. They are really easy. But it, it is about consistency of buttercream. They can be a bit of a nightmare. You know, I, I've gone live with these and put too much water in my buttercream mix and created blobs. Pamela loves it. The uh, Pamela's mum actually to do the big one. She absolutely loves it. Oh, great. Well, these are the extra large, okay? So there's large. Okay, let's get this right. So a normal nozzle. So this one here is the Wilton 1M. So that's a big nozzle. Now, a normal nozzle is that size. So we go to the overhead, Simon. I think you'll see this. So the normal nozzle is this size. This is a 1M Wilton. This is the extra large. And this is the large, so they're big, these. Yeah, they are big. So I'll just do this again on this one. Again, I don't know what colour we're going to get out of here. So I hope you've enjoyed tonight's live. I, I really had no idea what we were going to do. And uh, but I think it's paid off all right, hasn't it? So onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. Onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. Onto the cake, squeeze up, relax. So, did you use just about, a bit of name. Did you use about 500 grams of buttercream doing your, doing your flowers? Uh, no, I've used a bit more. So I've actually used a kilo and a half of buttercream now because I used 500 grams of buttercream to, to fill and uh, crumb coat the cake. And then I used 500 grams of buttercream that I first coloured. And since then, I've used every, I made a batch live for you. Yeah. So, um, Simon, are we just focused on my sugar and crumbs label there, are we? I don't know. <laughs> just, it's just, I didn't know whether you wanted to zoom into me boobs anymore. <laughs> just so, you know, I thought, you know, you get to see him every day, love. We don't need everybody else to see him. Oh, so, I was looking at the other screen. Eh? I was looking at the yeah, well, Nobody else there. is looking at the other screen. They're zoomed into my frigging fat boobs here. I don't know. So, so uh, I'm going to see it all now. Now he's put this camera in front of me. Yeah, so we've for this whole cake now, we've used a kilo and a half of buttercream. But this is an eight inch cake and it's a massive cake. Have you just used on that? The posy, it's very pretty. So let me just show you there so you can sort of think. Let's just see. Oh, wait. So can you? Do it that way. Yeah, do it that way. So, uh, so I think you see the detail there, the posy. So this is the posy. And this one is the Sun Dancer Cup. So I'll bring it up a bit closer. Can you see them? Aren't they pretty? 
Oh, it's all right this time, and it works now. That was like you zooming into my boobs before you were that close. Or was she just trying to get a close up of the sugar and crumbs label? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, ladies. So come on then. This is what we've made. Done. Da -da. There we go. So it's good that, isn't it? So don't need any sharp edges. We don't need it perfectly smooth. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? And I think, I don't know who we're going to give it to, but I'm sure they're going to love it. So what time is it, Karen? 20 to 10. Oh, look at that. We're finished quarter. early. 20 quarter. to 10. Oh, we're going home. Right. Okay, everyone. So thank you for enjoy uh, for joining us. Do like and share. Um, I don't know how big our audience stayed tonight. You know, I don't know. But do like and share. We're going to be back in the morning. Karen is going to be showing you at half past 11 how to make macaroons. Not macarons, macaroons. And if I can master the macarons, there we go. To the overhead, Simon. So if I can master these, they're not perfect. They've got little feet on. If you go to the front camera, you might be able to see the little feet. Feet? Yeah. In fact, can you go to this camera and see the little feet? They look see? Good on the camera. Yeah, they look good on the camera. <laughs> they're not right, though, yet. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> they look yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, they look good. I mean, look, they are, look, they are dry underneath. They are done underneath. But they're not all done, so look. So see some of them are still coming off. So they're not right yet. But they are, look, oh look, that one's done. Yeah. Look, oh crikey, Karen, no it might way. be there. So, uh, a, so that one's hollow. They look good, they look good on this camera. He's yeah, he's got a magic camera. So, yeah. So some of them are right, some of them are not right. So uh, some of them are not right. That's a bit like us, that isn't it? <laughs> We're not right. <laughs> Anyhow, look, so look, so we're there. We're there with that. And this is made with our Whipping It Up product. So um, Karen does loads of things with the Whipping It Up. She's our Whipping It Up queen. Remember that first Whipping Up queen here, started at Sugar and Crumbs. Anyhow, I'm going because I'm waffling. Right, I'll see you in the morning, half past 11. Don't forget, it's prize day tomorrow as well. So we do all the prizes for all the like and shares. And um, we've also got the prize going on for the, um, well, what's Sean got going that, on at the moment? That, that, that Friday competition. He's got the Friday going. competition. He's doing yeah. Friday competitions again, where you like and share, like and share. What's yeah. different to normal like and share? Yeah, but it's just, it's a post that he did. Oh, so instead of like and share, instead of like and share of a live, it was like and share of a post. Oh, so yeah. we're, we're going to draw that tomorrow as well. Those, yes, I've been told I have to do them. You're going to do the prizes. Right, good. So I'm glad you like this. Uh, if you noticed, I've not blinged it tonight. I thought we'd go easy and we'll just have a few of these little balls. <laughs> Anyhow, we're going. Sorry. See you soon. Right, are we going? We're going. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Simon. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.